Denver is basketball crazy right now, and clearly for good reason. In this week's fair game, we look back into history at a time when women's basketball had its turn in the spotlight and how it may make its return soon. Denver is no stranger to professional women's basketball. It was the league before the league, and the Colorado explosion put Denver on the map. The American Basketball League formed in the fall of 1996, immediately following the success of the 96 gold medal team, even signing seven of its players, including Dawn Staley. It was the best of the best. We had the best players. Um, and this was obviously prior to the WNBA even starting. Colorado was right in the center of the action and at the top of the Western Conference leaderboard. So there was a lot of, lot of great energy around women's basketball here in the state when the ABL started. Shelly Sheets was signed as a key member of the original Colorado Explosion team, following her All-American career at the University of Colorado. She was instrumental in bringing in big crowds to both McNichols Arena and the Denver Coliseum. It was great. It was a lot of the same people who supported us. Oh, people loved us. I mean, we had such core, hard group, uh, fa group fans that just really loved watching the game. Lark Birdsong, the first head coach of the Iowa women's basketball team, was the inaugural general manager of the Explosion. Women's basketball in Colorado has become a true passion for Birdsong, but she's not convinced Denver is on the short list for WNBA expansion. I think it's a long shot right now. There's a lot of groups that have an active ownership group trying to secure a spot there. They've got the funding and the passion for women's basketball. Sheets is simply leaning on Denver's passion. Uh, I think with the success with the Nuggets, I think basketball is just a hotbed right now in Colorado. So why, why not? Why not us? Why not the state of Colorado have a WNBA team? Let's go. WNBA Commissioner Kathy Engelbert spoke at a convention last week. She mentioned seven cities as finalists for expansion by 2025. Denver was on the list.